Buckle, Buckle in. in. I got some snacks. We got a long ass video for you guys today. If you're excited, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on all of your post notifications. You don't want to miss these bangers. Um, so in today's video, we are going to be explaining where we have been for the last like six months, basically. So so let's address the big question, the big elephant in the room, because this is one we've got for the last six months. Everyone wants to know if we broke up, and the answer is no. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. I'm just kidding. We did not break up. We have been together. We just decided to take a step away and just kind of like clear our minds, clear our bodies get the energy going again and we kind of explained to you let's go back you know october we took a two week break okay mm -hmm. we told you guys kind of explained what we were going through her cousin moved into the apartment we just felt like everything wasn't going our way yeah kind of suffocated that claustrophobic yeah and so we took the two week break and we decided we were going to come back after that two week break and try again today is a very hard day for both of us because this is a video that we never thought we would ever ever make because this is not only Sadie's dream but it's like kind of morphed into my dream like it's something that I really 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 wanted to work um not saying that we're not going to be posting at all anymore we are taking a break for at least two weeks we'll be back and update you guys on how we're feeling and what's going on with that but today is our last video until at least let's see two weeks from today well we'll be back on a sunday so we're going to be coming back on the 29th right before halloween we felt good after the break we didn't feel as much pressure to make videos and do this and this and this like we wanted to do them it was gonna be so much fun like we enjoyed it and then we got into tiktok beef we're not gonna say the names but it was another lesbian couple on TikTok uh, who basically said that we stole their video, stole their idea, and had all of their fans come and comment hate, comment like crazy things, like death threats. Not yeah. even like kidding, like death threats. Yeah, and I would just like to preface really quick. That is not the sole specific reason yeah. onto why we stepped away from social media. Yeah. It was kind of just like that's what pushed us over the edge. We took a step away from TikTok for a while. And then we were like, okay, what do we want to do? TikTok drained us to the point where we like spent hours on TikTok looking for trends, looking for videos, looking for ideas like to do. And like yeah. we had a lot of fun with TikTok, but it was just getting to the point where we were like, we just felt like consumed Ugh. by it. Like we yeah. literally couldn't do anything because like it felt like brain rot. It, it just felt like yeah, grow up. And like, it takes it takes sometimes if you're like you're having like creative block or whatever you want to call it it takes a while to find yeah. a good idea that you think is going to do well and by doing so you have to like go on tiktok go on youtube go on instagram and just like look and look and look and look and yeah. it gets a lot sometimes yeah. so yeah then we decided you know what okay let's just stick to instagram let's stick to youtube those are the ones that bring us happy like happiness those yeah. are the ones that we enjoy doing right there's because not as basically, much it's just yeah us showing our relationship yeah and like there's not as much talk Toxicity and yeah, for, because ugh, everyone yeah. on TikTok has an opinion. Everyone on TikTok has the platform to be able to say whatever they want, just like any other social. But I feel like with TikTok, there's so many people from yeah, all bro. over, so it's just like it's just it's like easier in a sense, if that makes yeah, if that makes sense. So yeah, we decided to do YouTube and Instagram, and we even like messaged our agency that we were working with for TikTok, and we we're like, hey, like. We're not going to be doing brand deals. We're not going to be doing this with you anymore. Like, we'll let you know in the future if we decide to come back. But right now, like, TikTok's not for us. And we're just taking a step away. So we were still, like, making money from YouTube. And we were still, like, doing brand deals and stuff on YouTube. So that way we were still being able to make income. So that way we didn't have to get jobs. Okay. Well, after that, we posted a video. And I think it was the... I shit my pants prank on my girlfriend, which Sadie did to me. Was that our last video? That was our last video. Wow. And so 
I I don't know what happened like there was like a, a light switch in our brain where we were like is this what we want to be doing to each other is this like what we want to represent our relationship online like they're funny and they're cool and yes we'll still do pranks now and again but like we were doing pranks so often that it was just like it, like it just felt kind of childish in a way childish that makes sense. toxic like especially the ones that were like really like not nice kind of pranks they were yeah. getting bad like if you guys there's a video where i threw my phone at i can't remember i i threw my phone and almost broke it manipulating you what? come on see your phone give me your phone and then she threw something at me and missed me but it hit our blinds what the fuck is your problem? So it's like, we're not yeah. doing that. That's yeah. not who we are. That's not what we're going to be doing. That yeah. is just not something that we wanted to represent our relationship. Because yeah. we are very loving people. And you guys didn't really see that from us. Like, And you guys continuously asked too. Like, oh, can we see like more vlogs? Can we see like more date nights? Can we see more? And that's what we want. Like, yeah, that's more on brand for, for us. us. And like, that's what we want to show you guys. Because like... Yeah. And, like, even now, if you can't tell, like, we're just so much more comfortable with the camera. We're so much more comfortable, like, with each other. We're yeah. not on edge. Like, 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 because I'll even put a clip in. The last video that we filmed, and this is why we are re-recording it, because it was right after the I Shit My Pants prank, and we were just going at each other's throats. Yeah, that was a really big problem. We were, f we were fighting a lot, um... And we had decided that, you know, we really needed to try and put our relationship first. Yeah, because there was, like, it was getting to the point where it was, like, I don't even recognize myself. I don't even recognize Sadie. Like, we were, like, we've like never, fighting. we never fight. Like, yeah. And I know people are going to be, like, oh, well, that's toxic. Like, you guys have to fight a little bit. No, we don't fight. Like, yeah. we, like, talk it out. And, like, if yeah. we have a problem, we just come to each other yeah. and communicate. But that's not what we were doing at the time. We were literally like bickering back and forth. Like I said, I'll put the clip up yeah. so you guys can see that. I'm Sadie. I'm Avery. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Can you stop? Three, two, one. Why are you so pissy? I'm not. Because he, I don't know. You're irritating. Like you're irritating. Just do it. Three, two, one. I'm Sadie. I don't understand why you're pissy. Like we're I'm not literally pissy. making like a five minute video saying that we're done. I know, I'm not done. I'm just, I'm just irritated. Like I don't want to do this. I don't want to be in front of the camera. I don't want to have to FaceTime somebody. I hate my makeup. I'm not having a good day. I don't want to do this. So, but we have to. So I'm just trying to get through it so that way we can say that we're done and this will be the last of it. I'm done. Like I'm, I don't want to do this. I don't even want to sit in front of the camera right now. Like it makes me physically sick. I don't want to do it. So yeah, I'm irritated. It it's, just wasn't healthy. That is not how we want to represent yeah. ourselves. So we didn't post that because that's embarrassing. We did not want anybody to see that. That wouldn't have been a good look. But obviously we show you guys everything. So yes, we are going to show you a little bit of it. Right. Obviously. But at the time we were like... We were still on edge. Yeah. And we were ready to like blow up. Like yeah. we were just like, oh my God. Like we were like... You know, it was when you like keep a ball inside like a little square and it's like bouncing off the walls like that's the kind of energy that we had yeah, like and we you were like, just like yeah bouncing. you can't break out of it yeah. you're just constantly stuck in like this little yeah. bubble kind of that's how we felt um and so obviously that had a big factor in like deciding to step away from social media because like it was getting to a point where if we would have continued we would have broken up straight up oh yeah like, 100 being thousand percent honest with you we would have broken up um and so we were like, all right, like we need to value our relationship yeah, higher than social media because yeah. that's what's important to us. Yeah. And so after that video, we, yeah, like I said, we didn't post it. And I sat down and told Sadie, it was like, I don't think, I don't think we should post this. I don't think this is like the quality that we want for each other. We don't want to ever look like that either. No. Like, and so I kind of just like, was like, okay, should we get jobs? Because, and 
this is why because we did get a job and that's why you guys haven't really seen us because we've been working we've been working 40 hour weeks we work amazon we work night shift so we're like always dead tired always asleep we're never but we'll get to that later yeah so the reason we got jobs is because we want to move so bad you guys have seen it for the last two years we've been trying to move nothing's worked because they said that that like with social media you can't really prove your income and so that's why we've had such trouble yeah and it's like i don't understand because like i know alex earl and all of them like the big influencers and i know they have money to put down that's they what i'm saying yeah like, i think it's cash it's different because they're making way more and so yeah. they have more proof of like i can actually afford yeah. this instead of just getting like little checks here and there being only like you know a grand or two yeah it kind of like off puts apartment complexes yeah so they don't want to work with us they just like they're like we need to have proof of income like we like need pay to have, stubs yeah pay stubs from a job so we decided we we're like okay well we're gonna get a job we'll work for six months and then we'll get an apartment and we'll come back okay so we are working still we are on a list for an apartment it's in washington just because it's the cheapest one that we found we were gonna move to houston still but even they got expensive the way that that was going yeah it was just weird it, it, it got expensive working. and then having to actually move down there would have been a lot of money as well yeah so we were just like Fuck it. yeah so and yeah we just kind of like need our own space like with her cousin and everything like there's yeah. always people his friends everybody like it's not his fault like we said that before it is not his fault but there's always people over at the apartment yeah and so it's like we don't ever get to just like chill and, with like, each other yeah and hang out with each other and like yeah. actually get alone time and alone space with each other because that's that's super important in a relationship you need time to spend just like the two of you in you know like a nice safe space yeah. and also we are i'm 24 i'm gonna be 25 at the end of the year she's gonna turn 24 in june like we're getting older we're in our like we're literally in our mid-20s we started this when i was still 21 when we started this yeah like, like and as you get older it's yeah it's nice being because like we still with my dad if you guys didn't know um that's nice obviously in the aspect of like we're able to save money but like mentally it's so draining because when you get older you need your own space and you want to be an adult and like yeah. you want to be able to do things and like you want to spend money and you want to go on dates and you want to go on trips and you want to like be able to like Just i don't know what you want to do you yeah. know so that's yeah that's another main issue we just like weren't making an like we didn't have time to like relax with each other kind of yeah. like we were just like always running and going and figuring right. out the next thing and the biggest thing and like yeah what we're gonna do next yeah because we were in grind mode yeah like we were living off of one person's income we didn't have any money to do anything else because we were trying to dedicate all of our time to social media because you know if you want something you got to go all in um, and it just got to a point where we were just so drained and our life quality was not good at all yeah. It was horrible. Yeah, and we were depriving ourselves of so many things not saying that like Like not material things mm -hmm. just being able to go do something if we want to go do it No matter if it's like going on a walk or going to the beach or going outside. Yeah, like just because we were working constantly constantly moving on <laughs> um <laughs> let's catch you guys up now so yes we got a job in the at the end of november after we posted that video we decided we were going to take a step away and ever since then we've really just been grinding and working there and trying to save for an apartment and get everything that we need ready in order to do that to be able to move to be able to kind of like start our own business and kind of things so yeah we are going to still be posting we are going to be doing, we're going to be easing back into it because we we are changing how we do things. We yeah. are going to be enjoying social media. We are going to be enjoying each other and we're going to be enjoying showing you guys our relationship. So yeah. we're never going to make it our sole purpose, like priority, our job. We're not going to be doing that again because yeah, it just took the fun out of it. it. Yeah, exactly. It felt like a job. Yeah. You know? And so... <sighs> we yeah we're just going to be posting at least for right now 
once in a while like yeah. it's not gonna be like on a schedule we're just gonna be posting we'll let you guys know on our instagram as well but we're gonna be posting on instagram more instagram stories like we're gonna be doing that kind of stuff and maybe going live here and there but we've missed you guys and we do appreciate like all of the support that we've continued to get no literally like so when we s stopped doing youtube um, we hit like 40k I think like the, the week after we yeah. decided to stop posting and since then we haven't posted We haven't lost subscribers. We've gained subscribers. We've yeah. gained like eight and a half thousand I think since then which is like so I don't know that's crazy to me because I thought obviously like we were just gonna see it just go down right, but it didn't um, So we've seen all the support we, you know, we still see your guys's comments when you comment um, and we've seen I haven't because I actually deleted all the social media she did phone. she fucking wiped her I got shit. rid of Instagram. <laughs> I, got, I got rid of everything just because yeah, I needed I needed the break I didn't want to yeah. see anything I but now that I like redownloaded everything like I see the DMS I see the comments yeah. like I've seen everything and like I'm trying to we're trying to like just get respond back yeah. and reach out to everyone that we can especially the one like the OGs the first days yeah. like we love you guys and we do appreciate you guys right. like just wanting and I think that's a lot of it too is like you guys want to see our journey and like we kind of feel like since we started this so young like we were 21 like that's not old no so like we want to be able to post out throughout the years like obviously when we get engaged or like when we get married like we want to keep you guys along for the yeah. journey it's just like gonna be in a different kind of way right it's not gonna it's not gonna be as in-depth it's probably not gonna be as often yeah but we'll we still want to share with you guys because obviously you were with us for like a year and a half yeah. and we felt like obviously you deserve to know one you know what happened yeah and we didn't break up we, that's like too. we wanted yeah. to let you guys know like no there was never a time where we were not still together right we have been together this entire time we've lived together we're yeah. not breaking up ever you guys like we're like soul yeah. ties i yeah. said on my instagram story if you want like the perfect match it's a capricorn and a cancer i don't know what else to say because like we do fit so well we do fit very well and i think we're just soulmates i don't think there's ever yeah. a time where we're gonna like <sighs> it's so hard like when you know you know literally and i know that's the most like cliche thing you could probably hear but it's so true like you you can't there's like there is, you it's can't like explain this it. energy it's this yeah. weird energy that you just feel like you it just feels know. like a lock like you're like you know? locked in like you're both locked yeah forever and yeah. it's like it just like feels like them like right puzzle piece yeah like matching each other so it just get that out of your mind there's no way we're gonna be breaking up no. like and that wasn't the reason we stepped away from social media yeah. we just we needed time we needed and time. we needed to focus on ourselves again our relationship and try and just live figure out life. our living situation as well that too because it was hard to see it keep failing mm -hmm. and that's a lot of the reason we did step away from social media because it felt like everything that we were doing was failing yeah and it wasn't good enough and it yeah and it wasn't good enough and then we felt not good enough and yeah. it's like we're not not good enough it's yeah. just that's life like things happen yeah. like that for a reason and it's hard to in the moment to like actually like understand that but looking back on it now it's like okay well we didn't move to Houston for a reason we didn't move to North Carolina yeah. for a reason like things happen for us yeah. in the way that they're supposed to happen but it's just so irritating when yeah. things keep happening over and over where back it's not to back working to back. out yeah you gotta yeah we and that's another thing we we've tried to like change especially me because I'm I'm, I'm kind of a pes pessimistic, if I'm being honest, um, and I've tried to change that about myself, try and look at things in more of a positive way, which can help you in general just with anything you're going through, right? Like, you know, we didn't get to move away from Washington, and I've, I've wanted to do that literally since I was born, right? And, like, it sucked so bad when we weren't able to do that, but, like, you know, we did it. It happened for a reason. We're not doing it for a specific reason. And maybe it's because something uh, bigger and better is going to come down the line. You know yeah. what I mean? You just have to have a different outlook on it. Because if you don't, it can really suffocate you and really make you depressed. And it sucks because nobody wants to think that way. Nobody wants to be negative. No. So you got to try and really have a more positive outlook on just life in general and things that happen to you. And I know it's hard sometimes 
especially yeah like we talked about when things keep happening back yeah. to back to back to back you're like fuck man like can we catch a break no literally give me something good for yeah one. just something we did step away we're back we feel better um it's not even like about feeling better it's kind of just like we missed it so yeah. much and we feel like we're in a better spot to be able to come back to it yeah and then like we'll be able to show you guys our new apartment and yeah. like kind of like settling in and like yeah. kind of like showing you guys like the things that we actually want to show you like yeah. date nights and like, like more of a lifestyle yeah. kind of um channel now yeah and then like i said we'll still be posting on instagram if you guys have any more questions don't feel like you can't reach out like yeah. dm us comment Ooh, my voice just cracked comment on this video like if you have any more questions that we didn't get to in today's just video let us know let us know we'll get to it eventually next yeah. video whatever but we love you guys it's t already been 20 something minutes we told you it was gonna uh -huh. be a little bit long we told you to grab snacks <laughs> even though but... i feel like this isn't really that long a video i know but it's long for us yeah so thank you for sitting through thank you for still supporting us in our absence that's amazing and we love you guys for that um and we are excited to come back to you guys and we're excited to hell yeah just yeah be your internet besties we're yeah. excited to be your couple inspo like hopefully hopefully <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so we love you guys we thank you guys just for everything and we'll see you in the next one like i said we'll let you know on instagram or whatever yes. when we're posting we'll kind of like get on at least some kind of schedule right so you can it's not just like sporadic yeah yeah but we love you guys and we'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>